I was the commanding officer of Air Nymph, the, one of the search and rescue craft that are based in Jarvis Bay. There are two boats uh, here that night. I actually rescued 34 people, uh, sailors from the Voyager, from the water and from life rafts. The other uh, search and rescue craft uh, rescued 36. At four minutes to nine that evening, the unthinkable happened. Melbourne and the Voyager were involved in a collision. It was the RAN's worst peacetime disaster and on that dreadful night, 82 men lost their lives. It's a privilege to be here today in the presence of men who survived that dreadful ordeal. It's our privilege to have you aboard this afternoon. We meet on the 50th anniversary for the loss of HMAS Voyager, to remember those 82 of her ship's company who lost their lives in waters not far from here. Well, I'm just, just trying to come to grips with what happened that night. It's, it's, it's starting to overwhelm. One, one, one of our chaps got on board and had to go back this morning. He just he couldn't handle it. I'm starting to get uptight, getting knots in the stomach, and thinking about going out over the side, remembering my old shipmates. No matter how much that fateful night has affected us all that survived. None can imagine how it affected the loved ones and the families of those who died that night. And that is why we are here today. We must never forget. Know though, that when the nation requires, your Navy will go into action. We will continue to gather strength as we go. And we are better and stronger to the experiences and sacrifices of those who have gone before us. We will be proud to go where fate calls. I'm uh, extremely honoured to be out here, to be, to be honest, uh, to be with people who have endured so much over 50 years, who are looking for uh, closure today, uh, and hopefully we've been able to help provide that for them. Officer, Jonathan Rogers, DC, DSM. Ordinary Seaman, Graham Fitzalan. 